and I will, um, I'll turn on my webcam for just a moment to say hello. I'm not going to leave it on the whole time because my bandwidth may be iffy. Hi everybody. Good morning. Thanks for joining. I'm Wilma Hodges. I'm the Sakai Community Coordinator and I'm also the Director of Training and E-Learning at Longsight. Um, so I know most of you, but for those that I don't, um, hello and good to meet you virtually. And thanks again for joining us for the orientation session for our um, Sakai Virtual Conference presenters. So I'm going to shut my screen or my camera back off so we can focus on just the screen. Um, and uh, We'll go ahead and get started. So the conference site, um, we do ask that all of our presenters register um, just so that all of your information is in there and we have everything we need to get you enrolled. Um, if you haven't already registered, please do. It's only $5 per person, so it's very reasonable thanks to um, our sponsors who've subsidized the rest of the, the conference registration fees. Um, if that's a hardship of any sort, please let me know. We do have discount codes available. Um, so uh, the registration is available on the website there, and I will send you these slides afterward if you need to grab the URL. Um, but uh, I know um, most of the folks, I think, on the call are already registered. But if you're not, um, still plenty of time. You can register right up to the day of the conference. Uh, or obviously, it's better if you register earlier so we can get your information in there sooner. Um, we are going to be enrolling uh, the attendees on Monday, the day before the event. So, um, so you might see people popping in there if you happen to go in a little bit early. I'm going to try to enroll all of you guys later this afternoon so you'll have some extra time to get in there and uh, make sure you can log in and upload any slides and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, but the, the rest of the attendees that aren't presenting um, will be able to access the site next week. Um, but I'll send out announcements via email to let people know when all of that stuff happens. And um, we do ask that once you get that email announcement letting you know that you're enrolled, that you go check it out just to make sure that you can log in because it's much better to resolve those login issues ahead of time instead of scrambling on you know the morning of the the event. So um, the Sakai virtual conference site is going to be in Sakai. We have a Sakai site set up for the conference. And um, if you've attended these before, it's going to look somewhat similar to um, previous years. It's on our Try Sakai uh, demo server. So that's the URL there that you'll go to to log in. And again, I'll, I'll be enrolling everybody shortly. So you'll get a notice letting you know that it's, um, it's ready for you to go and, and try it out. Um, let me actually, I'll flip over to the actual site. So this is what it looks like once you log in. This is the Sakai site where the conference information is. And um, we don't have much going on over here in the tool menu, just conversations really. So if you want to collapse that down, I don't know if you guys know you can collapse that and uh, give you a little more real estate. But, um, but we've got it set up with just kind of some um, collapsible outlines. So there's some general information here. Um, and then the sessions themselves each have a page with the um, information about the session and the link to join that particular room. So you'll see a page like this for each of the, um, the sessions. And um, if you are one of our presenters, please go in and check it out. Now, most of you folks are um, Lightning Talk uh, presenters because we don't have very many other session types. Um, so the Lightning Talks are all on a page. So you'll scroll down, you'll see that they're in the order in which they're going to present. So we have the, the five or six, I think it's five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five per lightning round. Um, so you'll see your description and everything there. So um, do go in and check that out and make sure everything looks correct. If you wanted to change anything about your bio or the description any any inconsistencies let me know and I'll get those fixed for you and um, and also this year I decided to just make a shared Google folder um, 
You probably got an announcement yesterday letting you know that I shared a folder with you. Uh, so I, what I did is I shared this um, shared Google folder for a presentation slide. So it's basically just a regular Google um, shared folder, but I've made all the presenters editors in here so you can upload a copy of your slides um, and just kind of drop them in there wherever. Just make sure you name them um, something that uh, you know will be easily identified as your presentation because I'm going to also give um, the rest of the attendees view access to this folder so that they can go in and grab slides for se sessions that they might want to keep. Um, so just you know name them something that makes sense to people. Um, when they look at the title of the, of the file. If you don't have any slides, that's fine. You don't have to, it's not mandatory, but, um, but if you do have something or a handout or anything you wanna share that way, um, feel free to do that. I've also, in the conversation tool, created um, some topic areas for the various sessions. So if you go in here, you'll see um, different topics for all of these and you can go in here if there's anything you want to share with people just as a question or a prompt or a url something like that if you wanted to go in here and reply to the topic um, with more information uh, please feel free to do that i went ahead and pre-populated it with one per um, talk just so that everyone would be represented there in case some of the attendees have a question for you um, they might post it there so, um, so that's just another thing to kind of be aware of. And, oh, the other thing that I'm going to also mention to our folks, um, the attendees, when I sent out the email, we have a scavenger hunt going this year. This is one of our um, sort of team building activities. And it's in here under conference info. Um, but basically, you can um, gather photos of these things and create a student page. Um, and then we're going to have people vote on the best pages during the day um, and we'll announce the winner at the end of the day. So I'm going to encourage people to get a head start on this so that they're not doing it during the conference. But because people tend to procrastinate, I, I went ahead and left it open until three right before we announced the winner. So but I do encourage you since you'll have even more uh, advanced access to the site. If you want to go in and participate in a scavenger hunt, um, you know, you can go ahead and do that at any time that you don't have to wait for the event to begin to do that. Um, so all of the sessions, let me flick back over to my slide show here. All of our sessions are, um, oh, this is just about the Google folder. Oh, this slide template, a few people have asked me about, is there a, um, a slide template for the conference? The one that you're seeing right now that I'm using, it's in that folder, um, or you can also go to this bit.ly to go directly to it. Um, but you're welcome to use that. Again, it's not a requirement. If you have another template that you prefer, or if you want to modify it, feel free. Um, but, uh, but I made it available in, in case people wanted a, a template for the conference. Um, all of our sessions are going to run in Big Blue Button, which is what we're in right now. So um, if you've not used Big Blue Button before, especially if you've not presented in Big Blue Button, I do. Um, encourage you to practice and we'll have a little bit of time at the end of the orientation here after I take questions. Um, if anybody wants to stay on for a few minutes and practice, I'm happy to do that with you. Um, but uh, we will have moderators for all the sessions. And again, most of you guys are doing lightning talks. So um, we're going to be cycling you through, you know, according to a timer. Um, and Martin is going to be doing those. He does a really great job with the, um, the lightning talks. So, um, so the moderator will promote you to presenter when it's time for you to do your thing. And um, at that point, you can share your slides. Now, if you would prefer to upload a PDF instead of doing screen share, just make sure to send those um, uh, pre-recorded uh, videos or pre, um, you know, PDF presentations to Martin ahead of time, because that way he can upload them when you're ready to go. Um, but, or actually you can also send them to me. Um, this, some of this was carried over from last year, but uh, I can, I can load those as well. So you can, if you wanted to do something other than screen share, send me your stuff ahead of time 
and I'll make sure that it gets loaded into the, the room that you'll be presenting in. Um, there are some uh, resources for using Big Blue Button that, again, if you're not familiar with it, you might want to check out. And these are a couple of links um, that I'll let you guys go to on your own. Again, I'll share these slides with you um, afterward when I send out the link to the recording from the orientation today. And then just a few best practice tips. Um, we do ask that you try to be in your webinar room at least five minutes prior to the session start. Um, again, you guys are going to be in lightning talks, so you'll be going in a certain order. So if you're not the first one up, it's not critical that you're there right at the start time. But in case somebody doesn't use all of their time and we move a little faster, um, you want to make sure that you're there with plenty of time to get set up. Plus, if you're there a little bit early, you can do a quick sound check, make sure that uh, everything is working appropriately um, prior to people actually in there when the session being recorded. Um, we do encourage you to wear a headset with a microphone to avoid feedback um, rather than just using the speakers, um, you know, connected to your computer. But again, if you want to do a quick sound check at the end of this session, I'm happy to do that with you. And uh, we also encourage you to either share your webcam so people can see what you look like or include a picture of yourself in your slides just so they can kind of connect a name with a face. Um, it's usually nice. Um, again, these are short little talks. If you don't want to leave your webcam on the whole time, that's totally fine. Um, but uh, it's nice to be able to identify with you know, who's actually speaking. Um, and I, I don't know if the latest version of Big Blue Button has virtual backgrounds, but I know the last last year when we used it, they didn't. Um, but you could use something called Chroma Cam, which is free um, to do a virtual background. If, if you um, would like to try that, it's up to you. It's, again, very optional, but I thought I'd point it out to people if they're not familiar with it. Um, the moderator for your session um, or the lightning talk facilitator in the case of most of you will handle introductions and will help relay questions from the chat so that you don't have to manage quite as many moving parts um, while you're presenting. Um, again, during the, the lightning talks, it's very important to stick to your time. So we've, we've timed these out with a certain number per session. So each person gets a total of nine minutes. Um, and we plan for roughly five minutes of presentation and about four minutes of questions for each person. Um, you want to make sure you don't run over because you don't want to take away from someone else's time. And then the person at the end gets stuck, like, without enough time to do their, their thing. So, um, so do uh, practice ahead of time. Make sure you can keep it within that nine-minute uh, window. If your presentation part runs, you know, six, seven minutes, that just means you have less time for questions. But you can always follow up um, with questions via email or in the conversation tool or in other places. Um, we do have three rounds of lightning talks throughout the day. There's one early, uh, one around midday, one in the afternoon. So be sure to check the schedule to make sure you know which slot you're in. And again, we'll call on people in the order in which they're listed um, on the schedule. Um, some other general reminders. We'd love for your help promoting the event. So we'd like you to tweet about your sessions if you're on Twitter or if you've left Twitter in a huff because Musk took it over <laughs> and you want to go tweet on, or I guess you can't tweet. Um, I don't know what you call it uh, if it's not a tweet, but I guess post on uh, Mastodon or whatever you're using these days for social media. Um, and uh, you know, let people know that you're presenting, and um, you know, you can use the hashtag SakaiVC22. That's the one we're kind of promoting um, for the conference. So if you're on social media, uh, whether it's Instagram or something else, um, feel free to promote your session and promote the conference. And um, most of you have probably acclimated in the U.S. to daylight savings time, which ended last weekend. But for those of you who might not be in the U.S., um, you know, we're, we're on Eastern Standard Time, but we just changed. So we just, that daylight savings just ended. So make sure that you've got your, uh, your conversion of time zones correct 
um, so that nobody's you know an hour late or early for their session. And um, if you have any problems, if you can't make your session for whatever reason, um, like for example, if there's a hurricane coming, which is what's happening here in Florida right now, thankfully this week, not next week, um, and you don't have power or um, you know something else unforeseen, please try to reach out and let me know. Um, send me an email, a text, uh, you know, whatever way you can make contact. Um, and let me know that you can't make it so that we can uh, let people know to, to go to another um, session or just kind of have more time in that in that round of lightning talks. Um, we do have an Imperial Slack channel if you're on Slack. Um, there's a channel in there called Sakai VC22. Uh, it used to be Sakai VC21, so if you were already subscribed to it last year, you're probably still subscribed to it with a new name. Um, but if you're not on Slack and you'd like an invite, feel free to, to email me and I, I'm happy to add you. Um, and uh, we can use that channel to connect with other folks about the conference um, during, during leading up to it and during the, the actual event. So um, does anybody have any questions? Feel free to turn on your microphone if you have a question or type it into the chat. Earl and Andrea both say they have no questions. I see Bridget typing. How do we upload our slides? Um, you just drag them into the Google folder. Um, you uh, once you open up the folder, you should be able to to import the file from there. If you need any help, I can show you at the end. We can do a little screen share, and I can drag something in there. Earl said he just created his in the folder. You will we'll be sharing them during our presentation, or will someone else? Um, I was planning to have each presenter do their own screen share. So what we'll do is we'll hand off presenter to the person who's about to speak um, in the big blue button room because the lightning talks will all be in one room for that duration, right? So each person as they speak will get presenter and then they can um, click on the screen share slide to share their own slides. Now, if you prefer to have somebody else manage your slides for you, just let me know ahead of time and um, you know, send me your stuff and we can, we can run the slide deck for you if you prefer. But um, usually people like to just run their own slides. Any other questions? Okay, you guys are a quiet bunch today. So, um, so I guess that's it for questions. Um, if you think of anything else, please feel free to email me. Um, I'll be happy to um, help you out or answer what I can between now and then. You'll be getting some notices from me when you're enrolled um, and uh, site access, that kind of stuff. So, so be on the lookout for that. And um, again, make sure to go in and check it out. Make sure you can log in okay um, with plenty of time. Um, between now and the actual event, so we know that uh, you're not going to have any last minute stress trying to get in there and, and having issues. Um, and if anybody would like to practice, I'll, I'll go ahead and turn off the recorder, but if anybody wants to stay on and practice on um, Big Blue Button, we can do that now.